Listen, you know ain't no room in this bag, girl. Quit playing. At number 10, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna learn how to hold the camera first and foremost. I'll do the number 10, how we might say it in our negative voice and then how we're gonna reframe it for a positive. so excited to see you it is vlogmas day two what it do it's gonna be a productive day first of all i don't think it's gonna be super busy at work because it's december 1st most of you guys know i work at nbc universal it's tree lighting day there's a big giant tree in 30 rock plaza which 30 rock is for those of you guys who are not in new york um it's on 49th street and 50th street between fifth ave and sixth ave so, and it's facing the 5th Ave, so it's on the side that faces Saks Fifth Avenue. My whole department is going to be worried about tree lighting. Am I going to be in tree lighting Lollapalooza? I am not. I am not. But when you are watching it at home on TV, know that my team is the one that helped bring it to you no matter where you are. We crewed it. We helped light it. Um, the control rooms, the staging, all that was my team. So shout out to Tech Ops. <laughs> Actually, shout out to all the Rock Center operations because facilities is involved in it. The whole shebang. Everybody is involved in it. Not just the technical aspect of it. And I'm so proud of my team. However, that means my work day will probably be light. If you know me, you know that at the beginning of the month, I usually have a crazy thing report to create. So I'll be working on that. Uh-oh, Justice wants to get out. I'll be working on that. Um, but I won't, I hope I won't have a lot of interaction with people. I know a lot of meetings have already been rescheduled, so I'm excited about that. I took my bath last night. I usually take it in the morning. Why? Why you say? Because I knew I wanted to get up and do yoga. So I'm going to do, it's not going to be intense because it's 8.40. I slept a little. I've been taking my knockout pills, which is great. Oh, look, I have eye cream on still. Um, I'm trying out this new eye cream. Ooh, bright outside. It's not, there's no more flurries. Let's step outside and see exactly how cold it is. Ooh, it's not too cold. I have on socks. It's not too cold. Good morning, Harlem. Happy Vlogmas, day two. Happy Vlogmas, day two. All right, let me stop yummer yammer and get my toothbrush, get on my yoga mat, and let's get it cracking. All right, given our time situation, uh, this is on YouTube, in case anybody wants to do it. This uh, lady's name is Tony Mitchell. I'm gonna do 13 minute full body stretch routine for tight muscles. <laughs> Thank you. 
all done. I hope that you remember to do something for yourself today. I am, um, yeah, my hips are tight. I gotta do some pigeon poses later, but that felt good. I just encourage you to take care of yourself always, but especially during the holidays, because so much of our time is focused on everybody else. Self-care, put on your own mask first, put on your own air mask, life mask um, first. So I can't remember what it's called, but you know, when you get on the plane, they tell you <laughs> when the oxygen mask, when the oxygen mask comes down, even if you have children, put your own on first. So I encourage you to put your own oxygen mask on first. All right, so I'm gonna make some coffee. It's 9.07, my first meeting starts in eight minutes. It's only a phone meeting. We're checking if anything went wrong on air yesterday. So, or not if, we know if it did. I'm just saying that's the conversation if there is something that went wrong. Um, we try to figure out what it is. Yes, so I am thinking of switching my fasting. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna do uh, either 10 to six or 11 to seven. Let's try 11 to seven today. It was 12 to eight before I do intermittent fasting. I'm gonna try 11 to seven because I'm going to be going to bed earlier and I don't wanna have food on my stomach too close to bedtime. So there you go. If uh, I think our night, let me just get the coffee going while I'm doing that. I think I want to have a little bit of coffee. Actually, let's take our morning call outside. Let's see if we can get that together without stressing ourselves. Let me get my coffee going. <laughs> the premiere with you guys it's 11 50 i'm gonna break my f fast a little later than what i had hoped but we'll work it out i'm just gonna have yogurt oh i printed out something i want to share with you guys from equilibrium they do a i think it's a weekly cup of calm but i want to read it to you guys because it resonated with me and hopefully it resonates with one or more of you guys so we'll see i've just been listening to abundance meditation music and calming myself while i work I feel good. I feel good. Shout out to one of you. I'll put the comment here who also did the Macy's Day Parade. Not this year, but previously as an employee of Macy's, you did the Garfield float. So for us, they offered, I think it's Macy's employees and NBC Universal employees because we cover the parade. I'm not sure if other networks cover it. I don't work for them, so I actually don't care. But so it was my first year ever being offered. It's probably gonna be my last year doing it, like for real, for real. But anyway, shout out to you for doing it. I have mad respect for everybody who does anything to do with the parade, specifically balloon handling. Also, shout out to the daily vloggers. Man, I, I got mad respect for you. <laughs> my goal is to not stress myself out during Vlogmas because that would defeat the purpose. I just wanna have fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy the content. I appreciate everybody who's rocking with me. Yes. If you haven't done so, please hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. You know, come back, hang out. We're going to be here for a while. All right, we are in the middle of the premiere. I'm responding to you guys here, but then I can also see the comments on the TV. Did I see that? This is getting better. I did some shred. Anyway, focus, focus. I can see the comments here. If you guys watch it on your TV, I'll show you how you can do that. It's this over here. Uh oh, no, I stopped it. Sorry, guys. Oh, hi. There you go. It's not cooperating, but if you pan up to here, oh god, here where it says live chat, and you click on that, and it will enable it. Let me just show you that. I did get started. I like to do that because I watch it in my room. Um, anyway, let me get back to y'all. <laughs> 
Thank you, Neo Soul, for joining. Rare Blonde Chick, you were in here. Thank you for joining. Tiffany Stewart, thank you. Congratulations on the baby, January 7th. I'm excited um, for the princess to get here, too. Oh, Miss Sun just came in. Hello, Miss Sun. Okay, let me get back to you guys. <laughs> All right, y'all. I am working on these piles over in front of my TV. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, this is the shredder. Anything that has my name and address on it, I put in the shredder. But instead of putting like the whole magazine in, I just cut my name and address off. So I have like this stack here. Because I have a subscription to Variety and a bunch of other stuff, I end up with a bunch of magazines. And then... So those are obviously going to go in the recycling bin. And then these cannot go in recycling. So I make a, a trash pile because it has this plastic on it. And anything else like this. Whoops. Huh. I need to take my address off of that one. But yeah, those. that's the trash pile. And then here's another pile of magazines. Here's what I've shredded so far. My shredder only holds so much. So I just dump it as I'm going. And then I wait until this bag is filled and then I put it outside in the hallway in the recycling bins. I mean, it's not in the hallway, but the access to it is in the hallway. You know what I mean. Um, and I'm watching Nick and Carla. They, uh, those two ladies are married. I originally started watching their reaction channel because they react, I'm going to be honest, when I was up in Lily and Graham's business is how they came up in my algorithm, but then they were talking about energy work and Abraham Hicks and I've just been drawn to them, so now I also watch their vlog channel. Very knowledgeable, um, I just like how they break stuff down and now I'm, I'm enjoying their RV life, so I'm watching them while I do this. I'm going to break. I still haven't made my lunch, so I am, I wanted to show you guys this because I'm about to stop this. I want to do this pile of magazines right here. Can you guys see that with my thigh in the way? Take the address. Actually, you know what? I'm going to, this is a stopping point. This pile here, I'm going to put out in the hallway. This I'm going to put in the trash. I'm going to eat. We'll figure it out from there. <laughs> Alright, I'm finally eating. It is 1.42. I'm doing yogurt. Let me just get it situated so I can show you. Chobani Complete Yogurt. Zero sugar, 15 grams of complete protein, um, zero lactose, and I'm also gonna do my Atlas bar. This, I got it from Amazon. It's peanut butter and raspberry. It's keto friendly, one gram of sugar, four net carbs, mind and body nutrition. I don't know how many calories it is, but I think 220. So that's 220 calories, and this one is 120 calories, so 340 um, is what is going, I'm using to break my fast. I'm about to watch Lily on Life of Lily. She's doing Vlogmas over there on Life of Lily. I got my heart broken, so I'm single. I don't know. Uh, the thumbnail is everything. So it's, she's so beautiful, inside and out. So I'm going to sit down and have this. Oh, I'm going to do also one of these waters. I'm going to add electrolytes in there. I think I'm gonna do my teeny electrolytes, which are, yeah, hydrate mix. So raspberry lemonade. I think the, it has to be, the Black Friday so it has to be over, but I'm sure I have some kind of discount for it. I'll put it in the description box below. But yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sit and watch um, Lily, and then I don't have, I think my next meeting is like an hour. So I'm working on my report. I'm, well, I'm not working on the report yet. I'm combing through the data. So I'll have Lily on in the background, but I'm just excited for her. I'm excited for Vlogmas. This is the first Vlogmas day one that I've watched besides my own. So I'm excited to see what everybody does. Yeah, it's, it, I don't know. 2021 has been a hell of a year. So let's send it out with a bang. You know what I'm saying? looking to see if I need two scoops but I think one scoop will do because I have more water yeah I do one scoop with 16 ounces so this is 33 let me just do one more scoop we look out the window as it's starting to snow and I realize as you had me
Okay, I'm watching Grandma's on Tay. This is her Vlogmas Day one. Um, and look, I'm making progress. So this, I'm gonna shred this, or I'm gonna go through it and see what needs to be shred. That has all been shredded. The big bag is gone. The only thing left is in here, and I feel like it doesn't make me anxious to so look at it as clutter. Once this is filled, I'll take it out. I'm gonna take this heater down. I hate that I have to throw it out, but the girls chew through the wire. And I know, I talked to Tony. Y'all remember Tony. She said like, you could get somebody to repair it. Maybe that one, but then look what they did down here. This was for my terrace. I got to only use it once. It's really cute. It swivels like, oh, I tied it up so you can't see, but see that part? It swivels. It's just, this cord is tied around. It had a remote. Girl, I was out of my terrace living my best life. I got my Bose speaker that goes out there. It's charging right now, but it's a remote speaker. But you know, we gonna let it go. We gonna let it go. December is about letting all old things go. I'm not holding on to anything or anybody that is not in alignment with what my energy is right now. I'm not bringing it into 2022. No, ma'am. So yeah, I'm gonna take that down to the basement for the um, porter to take out. He's basically the guy that comes and collects all the waste, takes the trash out, picks up the recyclables from each floor. So it's a condo, so we don't have like a super uh, because everybody owns their own unit, but it is like there's common space, so the porter kind of takes care of the common space. Anyway, so I'm gonna take that down there. But yeah, I'm feeling good. Let me show you guys once again. I'm gonna wait. Let me get more of it done and then I'll put in an insert of what it looked like before I started and what it's looking like now. Cause I'm pretty excited for myself and my energy feels good. I don't know about you, but when stuff is cluttered, it makes my mind feel cluttered. So that is that. We're gonna talk about the kitchen cause that's a whole other clutter situation. But you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Clutter is not gonna be re removed in a day. It's just the fact that I'm getting it done and I'm feeling good about getting it done. Oh, I found these magazines I wanna show you guys. Um, let me turn this around. I mean, I didn't find them. They were in the pile of magazines, but I'm going to save these. Let me just show you. Okay. Better Homes and Gardens. So this one, how all set to celebrate. I like that. Serving up something new this holiday season. So I think there's going to be recipes in here because it says um, pies for every skill. A garden's big fall finish so I am a fan of cutting recipes out of magazines I got that from my mother and it it does me right so I'm gonna do it um house beautiful love where you live 651 design ideas that will change the way you feel about your home so oh look at this there's a hidden gem in this office so I feel like this is about maximizing space this article so I want to check that one out that's the October November edition if you're out trying to get it 125th anniversary double issue and then last but not least real simple life made easier love your home ideas and inspo for organizing and refreshing any room closet drawer or porch i feel like that is going to be good for me i got some drawers i want to reorganize i was just going through my sock drawer because um jasmine was going somewhere and her socks are in the dryer she's getting ready to leave tomorrow but she was going out shopping and so i'm i'm a sock fan i'm not even gonna show you what the sock drawer looks like right now but it's a, it's a lot of socks and they're not as organized as they could be and i just want to get my room organized it's cluttered again in that corner and i remember reading somewhere if clutter keeps happening in the same space it's from or because of lack of organization so something in the flow in the workflow if you will is causing things to pile up there right so i i just need to get organized i'm gonna clean it today i don't know that everything is gonna be organized i'm gonna clean my room i need to put the duvet cover back on my comforter i've already switched the sheets out but i just want to get that together get the chair clean and get my desk clean because last time i didn't clean the desk and i never got to it so that's got to get done i don't know if it'll all be on vlogmas because it is jasmine's last night i want to we might go out to dinner they're going out to dinner i'm i don't want to invite myself if it's you know because they're friends um we'll see we'll we'll go with the flow but either way i want to get the editing done for this um sooner rather than later so i might vlog it and it'll be in tomorrow's vlogmas just so i can be held accountable by you guys and you can see some progress and maybe some inspiration if you are having clutter issues at your house or if you got it figured out girl let me know down below i might have to bust out my marie kondo again but anyway i have those yeah i've half eaten my food my appetite is not fully back 
And uh, yeah, I'm listening to Glamour's on tape. I'm hoping because she and Lily posted some pics on IG that were fire where they have these blonde wigs. I think they had on white outfits. Don't quote me. And there was another young lady who I, I don't know. I mean, she's tagging there, but I don't know. So it wasn't in Lily's vlog, but maybe it'll be in. I don't think it'll be in this one because Tay is doing self care, but maybe it'll be in one of them. I want to know where they were. They looked so hot. I was like, okay, y'all. I'm mad. Um, anyway, so. That's kind of what's going on. I'm feeling better. I don't know, you guys. It's something about... Can you see me? Because this light is right behind me. <laughs> there, that's better. There is something... Oh, Aaliyah's face is on now. There is something about getting rid of the clutter that just... Um, feels good. It feels good. And I'm glad I started the day with the yoga and the abundance meditation. I was feeling some type of way about... Again, I'm trying not to spend too much money... I know I have a lot of bills coming up in January because of the fertility stuff. And so I'm just worried about that. And I'm buying tickets to California. Although, honestly, I don't know if I want to say tickets. I'm buying myself a ticket. And then yesterday when I said I'm going to California, Cheyenne was like, well, when are we going? I might help her with her ticket, but I don't think I'm going to buy her ticket because Cheyenne is 27 years old. And yeah, I don't know. And I fly first class. Now, I've done it on a plane. I think when we went out for my sister's wedding, I bought myself a first class ticket and I bought her like a... It wasn't coach. I mean, it is coach, but it's like the premium coach. What is it called on Delta? I can't remember. But anyway, I'm just like, girl, I, I, I can't. And it's okay to say no. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's okay. You're an adult. <laughs> you live rent free in New York City. So I, uh, and not only in New York City, in Manhattan. So I am, yeah, I think no, no is just going to be a whole answer. But I'm trying to figure all of that out. Anyway, my, my point was, I'm getting distracted. My point was I was in a scarcity mindset, like I don't have enough. But I was watching the Vlogmas Day 1 and I was like, you do have enough. Like you live in a nice place, you have a nice job, you're fortunate. Please stop thinking you don't have enough or that you are not enough. I am enough, I have enough. Do I want more? I think that's human nature. But I live in abundance and I'm going to continue to live in abundance and I have to stop thinking about imagining a, that I'm in scarcity or that resources are in scarcity and I think part of that is like who I'm letting into my energy so I'm actually unfollowing a bunch of people unsubscribing to a bunch of people on YouTube just because it's a like our vibrations are not the same when I first started following them our vibrations were more aligned and I'm watching some of the content and they are in a scarcity mentality and then that kind of ebbs into my subconscious I just don't want any of that it's nothing against them at all like you are where you are and I was there too I have just raised my vibration and I want to continue to so I just have to be mindful of like you know who I let into my space because I don't want to lower my vibration I just want to be in alignment so I didn't say that right but you guys know what I mean like I want <laughs> Yeah, I'll think of exactly what I'm trying to say. But I want the people in my life to be aligned with my values. And so, and what I'm focused on right now, I want to focus on abundance. And so I have to like, you know, people are in your life for a season, a reason, or a lifetime. So the season has passed for some people. And I think that's okay. I think that's okay. And then there's more exciting people in the future whose season has yet to come. So w remember when we hold on to stuff? We can't receive. Oh, wait, you can't see my hand. <laughs> if we hold on to stuff, ah! we can't receive because our hands are closed. You know, when you receive, your hand is like this. But if you're holding on, you can't receive. And I'm ready to receive, sis. I'm ready to receive. Okay, let me get up. I'm seeing so many wrinkles. <laughs> Why is that what I'm focused on? You see what I'm saying? You look fine, girl. You look fine. But yeah, that's where I am. That's what's going on. My hair, I put some Olaplex in there. I definitely think the lesson on this... Oh, I was going to show you guys the hair paint. I think the lesson on the hair paint, it's got to be applied when my hair is already curly. Like, having it dried, then putting in the lot of body, and then sitting under a blow dryer, it made it a little flaky. It did the same thing with the Olaplex. It made the Olaplex flaky. But let me just show you. These are... The hair paint is everywhere, so hopefully you can see it. But this is from a Black-owned business crown paint colors i'm looking at both of them this is what i have in my hair 
it's a bluish silver. You can't really see it because, or maybe you can. There's other, <laughs> let me see like that, yeah. There's other, I'm doing that because the light is here. There's just other product on the outside because I had them in a bag together. But that is there, and then I did this as the base color, which is obviously more blue. So that is um, this part of my hair. The sealant I was telling you guys about is also made by them. And it's just a clear sealant. You have to dry your hair. It either has to air dry or you have to sit under a hair dryer or use a blow dryer. I, I did a hybrid. I have one. I have a blow dryer, but I have one of those hoods that converts it to like a hair dryer type situation. So I did that. So that's how I got this color in here. And then the hair paint makes the curls pop, but I also feel like it flattened them when I was asleep. But it's, these are all, this is not my regular curl. This is from the Flexi Rod. Let me show you the size Flexi Rod I used. Here are the Flexi Rods I used. You can see some of the hair paint on it. This was one of the front ones. I don't know what size that is. I did get it on Amazon. And then I used the Lotta Body, which see all the transfer, you can see the hair paint on there too. I used the Lotta Body. I did it at first, I was squishing it in my hand and then I started using a spray bottle. I think next time I try it, I'm gonna do a spray bottle just so I can more generously put on. This is my first time using setting lotion. I remember, well, as applying it to myself, I remember being little, my mom putting setting lotion on my hair and putting me under the bonnet. It was beautiful. So I added it to this little spray bottle. Again, all that transfer toward the end but I talked to my sister-in-law I sent her a picture and I was like I think I needed more setting spray she was like the definition is good you definitely could have used more setting spray because it was getting frizzy so that is what I did with my hair oh as part of vlogmas I have some pre-recorded videos so one of them is going to be my favorite hair products and then the other one is going to be my lips video so I think I'm going to do it this weekend I'm going to edit them now and then because I don't want to be in a crunch or stress for vlogmas like if I don't have enough content or if I haven't edited because I did that in 2018 and I just really want to enjoy you guys and enjoy vlogmas and I know you guys aren't putting pressure on me and I put that pressure on myself so I just want to like have a little bit of cushion so I'm not like ah, I have to get the content out because really, what do I have to do? It's two things. Comment below. What are the two things I have to do? I'll wait. <laughs> are you back? Okay. The two things I have to do, stay black and die. Those are the only two things I have to do. The rest is optional. Different outcomes based on choices. Life is based on choices. Oh my God, I got all these this i got a dirty little face cloth and this that i was using this has got to go in the washer that i was using when i was doing my hair these are those cloths i talked about it i think on thanksgiving day that i got a pack of 12. they're super easy and i just love to like wash everything on my face and they're not like guest towels or they're not like real towels so i don't have to worry about oh i'm gonna give somebody a towel like those are just for my face um and I, they get well used. I just saw it over my shoulder and I was like, they're probably like, girl. Okay, I don't even know why I came in here. Olaplex 6, I put this in my hair today from when we started. So that took some of the frizz out. The Olaplex 6 is the bomb. I love this. And I did a little bit of the um, sealing cream as well as the restorative spray. On the back, I put the kaleidoscope spray on here. Natural hair is an investment. Why did I, oh, I came here to show you guys this. I'm like, why am I in this bathroom? Let me get over here and get myself back on this computer, back to this data. Sometimes I need a break after like looking at it, looking at it, looking at it, the numbers. I just need a, a little rest, a little rest. So rest is over. <laughs> Time to get back to work.
my god, you guys. I was like, the vacuum, did I kill it? And then I realized I haven't changed that bag in a minute. I don't even remember. Oh, I see this lot now. I'm like, I gotta find some bags. But I started feeling like it wasn't sucking, so I put my hand on it, and then shortly after that, it just shut itself off. It was like, listen, you know ain't no room in this bag, girl. Quit playing. Anyway, there we go. I usually sweep anyway, but because everything is hard before, I feel like the vacuum get like, no matter how good your broom is, no matter how good your broom is, um, it can't get up everything, so I always just like have the vacuum suck it up, but I don't know why. I was in here being lazy trying to get the paper up. I thought it would be faster. Anyway, let me, I'm not gonna fool with the bag tonight. But let's just look at, well, let me put the vacuum away and then I'll show you guys, because I, I feel like it's in a good space. I'm not gonna say I got everything done, but the stuff that's left that needs to be shredded fits in a bag that is in the back of the game, uh, the game bag. Is it a bag? I don't know what that thing is called, but hang on, let me put the vacuum away so you guys can see. <laughs> Can I show you guys the freesia they're opening up there? I like it. These are not, I don't know if they're not getting enough sunlight or what, but we'll figure that out. And then I set the magazines out. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So this is what it's looking like. If you look closely, right there is a bag in the back that has the two trays in it that I had earlier that has work that needs to be done. The doggies toys are all put away right there. And then I put their carrier over here. It's not gonna stay there, but I just wanted to be able to clean the floor. And this doesn't have a home, the paper shredder. I want to get a, and I said this earlier on my other channel, I want to get... What, what's happening, girls? Yeah? Really? Um, can, can I finish on the vlog? Can I finish on the vlog, Bossy? Why are you so bossy? Why are you so bossy? Huh? Bossy, bossy, bossy. Why are you guys playing with her? Anyway. I want to lift... I want to have a... Um, entertainment cabinet. I don't know what that's called. I promise you, my hands do not look that ashy. Except on the camera. I promise. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, this thing right here, I want it to be up off the floor. One, because we like to put our shoes on, or we like to take our shoes off when we come in the house. And, hi! Hi! Mm, okay, kisses. And we can't. Because that thing is on the floor. And this place, the living room area, is much, well, not much smaller. It's just smaller than the other, than the brownstone we were in. So I want to get an entertainment system. Like, it's a floating shelf. Have you guys seen those? And I want it to have rounded corners just because it's going to fit right under the TV. And I don't want anybody bumping into it. It won't be protruding. I just, anyway, you know where I'm at. Well, maybe you don't. <laughs> Some of you know where I'm at with the feminine energy. I switched out and got a lot of round stuff. Like this I got because it was round. I had a square table. And then there was a chest that was over there that was big, square, and very masculine. So I'm trying to summon my feminine energy. And so I switched out a lot of things for rounded edges. This ottoman has a storage in there. So this lid comes up and there's a bunch of DVDs. Don't laugh, but we have a lot of DVDs. I work in entertainment. We get a lot of screeners, so we need DVDs. Long story long. 
I want this to float. I need something up in the air. And do you see how my sound bar is crooked from the guy who hung it and all these cords? I need to get like a cord keeper. At the other place I had, it. I don't remember, it was either plastic or vinyl and it goes against the wall and it's painted so you don't see the cords. That's what I want. My condo is relatively new. It was built in 2011 and so Behind the TV, there is a, a recessed socket, so the cord for the TV is never showing. But I have a bunch of devices. I have a sound bar. I have a full sound system, like surround sound. There's two speakers over there and a woofer. It's really nice for the sound um, when you're watching movies. Again, I'm in entertainment. And so these other cords, I have the DVD player. I have the Apple TV. I have, I don't know what else. So I need to get all that situated. I don't know if I'm going to do it in December. I'm going to start researching it, though, because remember, we're trying not to spend money in December, but I will start researching it. And then I started looking for floating consoles. I just haven't found one that I liked, and I think I want it to be in, like, a grayish wood, grayish, like how this is grayish and how that table over, can you see it, where my MacBook is sitting right now, that U-shaped table, um is grayish. I think I want it to be that color grayish. So it's not as dark as what I have now. I want it to be about the size of the TV, up in the air, rounded edges, and floating. Well, that's the up in the air part. So, you know, I'm not picky. <laughs> so that is what's going on there, but I'm, I'm definitely, this is the most organized it's been since we moved in. Oh, I know why I started saying all this. Once it's up in the air, that will fit underneath it. So it'll be flush against the wall. It'll just give us more room because that'll be up. And then it's only Cheyenne and I, which really it's only me. And then when Cheyenne and Fran come over. So it shouldn't ever be more than three or four pairs of shoes max. Because it's just to kind of let them air out, clean out, whatever. And then I just clap them together and put them away. <sighs> that was a long story. I'm just exhausted thinking about what I just told you. I'm done with work. Good luck to all the people who are at tree lighting. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go play with them. I'm gonna be back to tell you. Imagine meeting you here. <laughs> it's 9.58 p.m. I did remember, and then we're going to close out for the day, that I wanted to share the equilibrium with you guys. Uh, I'm holding this because <sighs> I'm lazy. That's the long and short of it. I'm lazy. I have the ring light up because I just did a live on Simply Tanika. There was a lot of stuff going on, a lot of drama. A bunch of people reached out to me and I just wanted to address it. I was going to ignore it. Ooh, hi, there I am. <laughs> I was going to ignore it, except enough people reached out to me where I was like, I gotta address it. I didn't want to be a part of the drama. I didn't say the names of the people that were being referenced because I, I like I said, I don't want to be a part of the drama, but I did want to just encourage people to, um, Oh no, look how I printed this out. I was gonna read this to you guys, but then you see how it has that comment over there? How to quit unconscious complaining? I'll be damned. Uh, and I put my work computer away so I can't show you guys through there. But they have like a chat overlay on there, which... Something about extraordinary circumstances we've lived through over the last 18 months, which I'm assuming is COVID. Many of us make the unconscious choice to complain every day and don't realize we're doing it. I definitely do that. We're spending valuable time and attention focused on what's not working, which can have detrimental effects on our ability to feel positive emotions, experience success, and go after what we want. We have the power to get out of the complaining and negative thinking that holds us back. The Complaint Game, a technique developed by Victoria M. Gallagher in her book, The Practical Law of, Attack of Attraction, is a great way to make the shift. Here's how to do it. Choose a personal issue or area of your life where you're currently unsatisfied. It could be career, success, money, love, relationship, family, or health. Um, take five minutes. Oh, God. Oh, you get 10 complaints in five minutes is what I'm getting.
And then they list out 10. I'm not going to read it all to you, but I'll give you an example. I'm the only one I know who doesn't have a partner. I find it too hard to talk to, with someone I don't know. All the complaints, right? Step three, now change the, com those complaints to preferences. Counter statements that express what you'd prefer to experience instead. These statements will help you get clear about you, what you actually do want and shift your tone and energy from negative to positive. Here are some sentence starters. I enjoy, I choose to, I am working toward. I now create, I look forward to, um, and some examples. I love it when I spend time with friends and family who have found partners and realize that I am no less significant because I am single. So I will, I like that. Number 10, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna learn how to hold the camera first and foremost. I'll do the number 10, how we might say it in our negative voice and then how we're gonna reframe it for a positive. So number 10 was, I'm the only one I know who doesn't have a partner. And then if we reframe it, I love it when I spend time with friends and family who have found partners and realize that I am no less significant because I am single. So I like that. And I like, um, Alana Fink is the one who did this article, which I think she's on IG. Um... Yeah, well-being with Alana on IG. But I like that it's framed from a law of attraction perspective because when we keep focusing on what we don't have, that's how we're vibrating. The universe doesn't know the difference between, yes, I have it and I don't want it, or I want it and I don't have it. It just knows what we're doing. So if we keep saying, I hate that I'm single, I hate that I'm single, I hate that I'm single, um, that's the energy we're putting out single 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 so we will continue to be single where we frame it of like in this instance like i love hanging out with friends and family i'm glad that they found their partner i am no less significant because i'm single that's a positive reinforcement of like i'm okay with what i am i'm no less significant but it doesn't go on and on about being single it just is really about being enough hopefully that makes sense where we're putting our time and energy so i don't know that just resonates with me and before i even read that i thought about that earlier today when i was starting out of like i need to focus on what i have and be in a state of abundance and not uh focus on what i don't have because that's what i'm like that's what i'm communicating is over and over again like i'm worried about money i'm worried about money or i'm worried about a baby i'm worried about a baby or that i really specifically i'm worried that i won't have a baby but um Yeah, so it, you know, it's a new habit to form, so I'm gonna have to think about it. I've been working on reframing things, but this is a good reminder with specific examples of like how to reframe things, so yeah. All right, I'm getting sleepy. I just had some coffee, which is crazy because it's 10. I'm gonna edit for you guys. <laughs> And tomorrow, I think we're going to tackle the room. I did get all the stuff out from under the sink. I found the hole in the pipe, and I haven't looked for a plumber. i got to figure that out. Honestly, I was going to try to delay it after I got back, but now that I know there's an actual hole, I think i got to deal with it. I was hoping that something got knocked loose. You know what I mean? Like, that could be tightened, but that whole pipe is going to have to be replaced. I tied, like, a little towel around it, but I effectively can't use the sink. I put a bucket under there. I do not want to leak onto my downstairs neighbors because I would have to file an insurance claim if it damages. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to pay out of pocket for it, so I would have to file an insurance claim. So we just got to be careful, but it just puts a damper on everything. It's just drama, and drama is ghetto, so I just need to address it. I got to find... Maybe I can take a picture. I'm also worried about having people in and out. Like, are they going to have to come and look at the pipe and then go get a pipe? Maybe I can take a picture, and they'll know what kind of pipe to get. Ugh. Yeah. I just gotta deal with it. I can't. I can't delay it till January. I just gotta get it done. So I gotta find someone. Tomorrow's Thursday, so maybe I can find someone tomorrow, and then they can come out on Friday. Because I'm in the office next week, so I can't delay it till next week. And I'm sure if they come on Saturday, that's like overtime or time and a half. So I'll look for the plumber tomorrow and see if I can get them out on Thursday. I'm gonna work in the room tomorrow. And uh, yeah. 
let's bust out the journal tomorrow, the planner. I, I had it out today, but I want to sit down with you guys. If any of you guys are like planner experts, let me know in the comments because I need help. But I definitely want to get organized. I'm trying to sort out like who was I watching? Oh, Lily the other day when she has like a a book for like her brand deals and her I have like a loose I can't even say a notebook. I have some notes in my phone about like video topics and then I have some other things that like dates that I have to hit of when it needs to post but I need to back it up of like when I need to record like I have another deal from my other channel and I haven't recorded it yet and it's a two-part so I gotta like I just need to sit down so let's do planning tomorrow I'm excited I like the stickers on the planner I did open it up and I started like touching it and feeling it and just getting connected with the planner I'm a visceral person like I, that's I'm a Taurus I'm an earth sign I like the way things feel um, I like them to be cozy like I'm into that I just want to you know have that tactile like so I did open the planner I looked at the stickers I just felt the pages and all that fun stuff did I show you guys the planner isn't that cute and it's in my color and so it has like uh, it's a law of attraction planner let me turn it around so you can see let me put my glasses on so I can see I think that says I am rich blessed happy and I don't know I need to clean my glasses out loud for the people in the back. I am beautiful. I love and accept myself for who I am. Amen. The roadmap. Enjoy the journey. Allow and let go. Go with the flow. Make a clear strategy. Mind mapping. I'm a project manager certified PMP and uh, I'm, I love a good plan so I need to come up with a plan for myself so we're gonna dig into that tomorrow all right that is the end of vlogmas day two thank you for rocking with me I'll see you in the morning we're gonna get up and do yoga and we're gonna do it all again <sighs> bye it up. It's Christmas.